Are you okay? You've hardly said a word since we got here. Is it Pierce? I know it would have been your anniversary today. Why does everybody assume that I would waste another second of my life on that man? If it's not you, it's Pete. Sorry, Ness, I'm sorry. Right. <coughs> What's Pete done? I'm probably imagining it. But I saw him with Debbie and the kids yesterday. And? He looked so close and comfortable with them, you know? Bantering away like he used to. It was like seeing the family that they could have been if him and Debbie had stayed together. But they didn't, cos it didn't work. Doesn't mean he couldn't try again, though. He wouldn't look twice at her now. Rona, he loves you. Are you sure? Are you telling me that he doesn't look at his much younger, extremely beautiful ex-girlfriend and think, oh, I'd rather be with an older menopause woman who cannot get through a day without biting his head off? Right, so try not to. Just take a deep breath and count to ten. But you need to be asking him, not me. Hey, I got your message. What's going on? I was hoping you could tell me. What are you talking about? I saw you with Debbie and the kids yesterday. So? Well, I was playing with the kids and I was shouting to Debbie. What's the problem? You look the picture of a happy young family. You're, you're really looking too much into this. All right, so you spend the day with your ex-girlfriend without telling me and suddenly I'm the neurotic one. Well, me and Debbie, we're just friends. I was watching you, Pete, and I, I couldn't help but think... Always wanted, you know, and you're just settling for second best. Are you serious? Look, me and Debbie, we were never right for each other, and I'm happy about that. Because I found someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. That's you, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I do believe you, Pete. I... Oh, I really am neurotic, aren't I? No. You've had your doubts lately, which is understandable to everything you've been through. But I do love you. Okay?